This is something I think that Andrew Tate would probably have some things to say. So uh -oh. we're going to talk about relationships. Aww. So there's a term out there we've all come to know called boss babes. Boss babes. Boss babes are out there. Buyer, beware. Um, why should you beware of a boss babe? Um, there's certain types of women that you should probably avoid. Mm. Um, at the top of the list are these boss babes. Now, I've been pretty candid. Would short term have fun with an OF girl? Maybe. Long term? Hell no. Yikes. Right? Um, it was funny. I was having a conversation with a girl the other day. She's like, I would never do OnlyFans. I go, that's great. I'm so proud of you. She goes, think of it where we're at in society today. That that is such like the low barometer. Like, this girl would never do OnlyFans. Wow, what a catch. It's like, really? Yeah. Um, it's today's time. You know, the opposite of someone who's selling their body mm -hmm. for money is selling their work ethic and time for money. A little bit less dangerous, I would say. Mm -hmm. No doubt. But this is buyer beware as well. Here's a full-on meltdown uh -oh. from a boss babe. You let me know what you notice about her personality, and I'll give you a little clue, a little me, 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 me. Go ahead, has play. Me, me, me. Genuinely just want love in my life so badly. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want. And, and being f***ing over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy with my life where I'm at, my job. I'm successful, I'm independent. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I take such good care of myself. Truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. Mm. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself? And I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. This young Okay. So, how many times did you hear the word I, me, or myself in um, that little one minute rant? Like how many times? Six times? Six times? Like six, five times? I counted like 12. Okay. I've done this. I've done this. I'm independent. I'm sick of waiting. I'm, I've worked on myself. I've improved myself. All myself, myself. Me, 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 me. She's selfish. By the way, there's nothing wrong with being kind of selfish. Where I have a problem with when, when women develop complete sense of selfishness mm -hmm. that they don't no longer have the ability to think of a couple of what you're bringing to your relationship. She said, the first thing she said was, it's not about anyone else, okay. it's about me. Sweetheart, relationships don't work that way. Um, and I don't know what type of guy you're gonna attract with that type of attitude. And this is more of a message for the men. Mm. Listen, I'm not, do what you gotta do, ladies. Gentlemen, buyer beware with this type of girl. Because um, she's gonna put herself first, whereas, uh, she should probably put uh, the relationship first, right? Like, how are you guys going to grow together? Now, a man, um, he, because who, if she ends up dating a guy mm -hmm. and they move in, who is more likely going to be paying the rent? He is. Okay. Okay. Who's going to be paying on the dates? Him. Okay, when it's time to buy a ring, who's going to pay for the ring? Him. So women want to say they're independent, but when they are dating a man, they're actually dependent on him paying. We just had this mm -hmm. conversation out there. So they want the best of both worlds. By the way, girl, go get your bag. Do your thing. But if you want to come to a relationship, by the way, based on hypergamy, we've learned this. Let's mm -hmm. say that girl's making 100 grand a year. She's making this. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance she's going to date someone who's making less than her? No. No. Well, maybe. No. 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 So let's say she's killing it. Now she's making 250 grand a year uh -huh. or a half a million dollars a year. You think she's going to date a guy who's making 50 grand? No, but what is she supposed to do during the time that she waits for her man? Just make the same amount of money? 
So that's a great question. <laughs> you know, like I understand both perspectives, but at the end of the day, I actually saw this clip the other day of this girl talking about like it's okay to make money as a woman and it's okay to to do those things because it puts you in rooms and environments where you have people who have money who are probably going to make more than you. So as much as this is like kind of like you want to stay away from, I also don't want to like completely shame her because at the end of the day, what are you supposed to do as a, a single working woman? work average work and make minimum and if you're offered to make more don't make more you know i think this is a balance of yes you're making money and you're becoming you know independent and stuff like that but it's also putting yourself in rooms where people who make more money people who are networking and you're able to mingle with but i mean at the end of the day if you're asking would i rather go towards a, the boss babe and work hard and, and make more money or go do only fans i would go work and make more money well those are two extremes yeah. on, like i said to you the other day when we were on that Yacht. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said there's two types of women out there, the way that they see the world. There's a type of woman who makes her way in the world with her brain. Oh, yeah, you said this to me. I remember this. And then there's a type of woman who makes her way with her looks and her body. Women, ladies, do what you got to do. Again, this is a message for the men out mm -hmm. there because our audience is primarily men, but men want women. Right. Right? What's the circle of life? Men. Men want women. Guys want girls. Girls. Oh, girls just want to have, have fun. 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 Fun Lots costs money. Men need, to, men need to make money. Why? Because... Girls want to have fun. Because men want women. Oh. But what happens is this. This is a girl who's using her brain. She's not doing OnlyFans. No. She's working so hard. Yeah. And that eventually, she becomes the man that she wants to date. Mm -hmm. So you've heard many times on the podcast, woman goes, yeah, I don't know. I just found myself in my masculine. Yeah. How many times have you heard that? Yeah, I've heard it many times. Okay, so what does that mean? So I just found myself in my masculine. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I'll tell you about OnlyFans girls, again, I'm not encouraging this. They're not necessarily in their masculine. They're in their feminine. They're in their Those feminine, a little too feminine. feminine. They're making their way in the world <laughs> by their body. Um, and it's very hard to kind of take them seriously. But a girl like this, um, it's almost like the alternative. She's become so masculine, mm -hmm. so focused on her career, so focused on making money. That when it's like, yeah, I actually want that dude now. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's. it's almost like, remember the video when um, the guy goes into the store and he misgenders him? And he's like, excuse me, it's ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's who one. this woman is turning into. So if you, if you watch this, there's nothing feminine about this rant. She's not saying... You know, I try my best and I'm such a good person. Well, there's nothing feminine about ranting about not finding a man. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I think women, you need to cut I'm that tired. shit out. You going on the internet complaining about not finding a man is the most, like, unattractive type of behavior I ever seen as a woman. As a, like, a lady woman, you carry yourself in a way of desire. And complaining about not having a man on the internet is not making you desirable. So that's the first thing. So if that makes her more masculine, then so be it. But I know, like, the feminine women that I know, they would never go on the internet and complain about making money and can't, not finding a man. Yeah, but, you know, um, uh, look at her now. So y you bring up a really good point. And this is really more of a message for the men out there, but obviously it's a byproduct of how women operate because yeah. men want to date women. Yeah. And this, this girl is actually pretty attractive. She's it's cute. Not like she's, yeah. It's not like she's ugly. When women become smarter, mm -hmm. more educated, make more money, does their dating pool expand or yeah. shrink? It shrinks. They're more Why does awake. it shrink? It shrinks because things are more obvious to them. They're more aware of what's going on. They well, understand. Well, because a lot of women will not date down. Yeah. And again, this is the tough, this is the, the, the part of life that, you know, it's tough for women. I always say that men have it easier than women only because we have clarity. Mm -hmm. Women lack a little bit of clarity. Whereas I'm not telling you to be an idiot and be broke. No, nobody wants that. Right. But at the same time, uh, the higher you go, mm -hmm. your dating pool, all right, there's 50% of guys I'll date. All right, there's 25% of guys I'll date. All right, there's 10% of guys I'll date. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm only dating the 1% man. The, the problem with that is, that 1% dude, and I encourage you guys out there to become that dude. Yeah. So you can have your pick of the litter, which we're going to talk about uh, in the race. They don't want that girl. Yeah. Because the, the more that a man has success, he's like, I don't need more headaches in my life, baby. You Just stop it. Shush. I don't need to hear about your job. I don't need to hear about your career. I need help with my life. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are doing the 50-50 thing. I get it. But you set yourself up 
for disrespect when you're splitting the bills with your girl. Now, I understand that there's historical gender traditions, gender roles. Mm -hmm. I understand that women are more educated and making money these days. But it's all so new, Nat. It's all within the last 10, 20 years, this... You know, women are women right. are the boss. Women are the boss, babes. Who runs the world? Girls. Okay, right. the future is female. Where guys are like, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to deal with this kind of stuff like that. That's why a lot of guys are checking out mm -hmm. of getting married. But there's this girl. She's the boss, babe. You can tell she's kind of the person who's actually probably made some money. Mm -hmm. But she can't find the type of guy that she wants. Because the guys that actually have the money are actually going after just the pretty young girls or aren't or sort of drama free. Mm -hmm. But then there's another video of a girl who clearly hasn't made money. Yeah. She's attractive. We covered this with our friend Ricky Redpill. I remember that. Here's this girl's meltdown, but in a completely different type of way. Go ahead. Working is not a compliment. But no, I'm just saying that even as a housewife, you have to work. I work so I could buy shit, and that's it. That's the only reason why I work. <laughs> okay, but that's the reason everybody works, so they can buy shit. Why are you driving a truck right now? instead of being some, instead of working for your husband and being a wife. My mama didn't do her motherfucking job and create generational wealth for me, so now I gotta work. I can understand that, but that's not your mother's job. It's your job to go out and create a life for yourself. You fell for the same trick everyone else falls for, to be an independent woman and go out here and work instead of being a wife and working for your husband. That's what you should have done. Stop being fucking rude. Stop being rude. Stop it. Okay, look, I'm not trying to be rude, but what is wrong with you right now? <laughs> I gotta cook, I gotta clean, and I gotta work. I gotta do my own hair. Jesus, where is <laughs> oh, it in? I'll come get you, but you gotta calm down. It's me, come get me. I don't wanna work. I'm tired. Bingo at I'm the end. Working. Quote, unquote, I don't wanna work. I'm tired. <laughs> I say this all the time. Women respect you. I love you ladies out there. Men were built to work. Imagine if a man was doing this rant. Just go ahead. No. Imagine if a man was doing this, I'm sick of working. And you know, my parents never gave me generational wealth. And it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I, I gotta do my hair. It's like, would anybody give two shits about the guy's problems? No. Nobody. Nobody cares about dudes' problems. Dudes gotta work, they gotta earn, they gotta get their shit together because nobody cares. Yeah. Once you make something from yourself, once you become a name, once you have status, once you have money, once you become what Tate talks about, a high value man, a man of status, all of a sudden people start paying attention to you. But if you're broke and you're like, <laughs> nobody gives a shit, bro. 80% of the people don't care about your problems. 20% of the people are actually happy you have them, homie. So here's this girl. We're actually being like, oh, uh, somebody come get this little cute girl. Oh, she fell into the, I don't want to, you know, have a man and listen to my man. I'm going to go ahead and do my thing. And then what happens is they hit a certain age. This is, might be called the wall. What happens? You know, I've showed you um, my dating app situation. <laughs> How many messages do I have from women? You have a good amount. How many? You have a lot. Like 500 uh, messages. Yeah. Now, here's the catch. Before you're like, oh, Saz, you think you're cool. They're all, the vast majority, like 98% of them are from women who are 35 plus. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah? The vast majority. So, um, you know me, Nat. I'm, yeah. I'm operating in real life. Yeah. I'm not exactly out there yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, doing these things on the app. Right. How many are, what number do you see right there? Let me see. Messages. <laughs> 458. These are 458 messages. Relax. <laughs> from girls who are like, hey, what's up, boo? Hey, How you doing? you trying to pay these bills? Think about, you know, we, t we talked about the other day. 80 to 90% of girls want men to make the first move. For sure. Right? Now they they did the, the Bumble thing mm. where women have to make the first move. I don't go. The, you know, what's the reason that the hot 24-year-old girls aren't sliding in my DM? What's the reason? Because they're, people are sliding they're in Everyone's DMs. sliding in their DMs. Yeah. They're like, what the hell? Am I? I'm not sliding this dude's DM. Right. But the 37-year-old girl, she's like, oh, shit. I got to, what? And find someone. So... Yeah. But by the way, the 37-year-old guy mm -hmm. who was getting no action when he was 22, 25, 27, but put in a decade of work, all of a sudden he's 37, he's made some money, he's got his shit together, he's got money, he looks good, he's actually a man of high character. Do you know that that guy, he's got uh, what's called options. Mm. And to have options is a beautiful thing in life. It's sort of the premise of capitalism, having 
choice and options. So it's a little bit different when a man is 37 versus a woman is 37. It's a little bit different when a man is 43 or a woman is 43. And I'm saying single. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're married at 43, ladies, respect to you. Keep your man. By the way, gentlemen, if you're married at 43 and you got your girl, appreciate your girl. We're in this thing together. I want to see relationships work. I'm at the age now where I'm starting to see, oh, you heard about so-and-so got divorced? Oh, oh. you heard so-and-so broke up? He had to give her how much money in the divorce? Oh, my God, he never gets his... I'm, like, that's the phase I'm in. Mm-hmm. Luckily, when I got engaged and I got in, I got out, I had a little prenup, and I'm out, I'm moving over. Oh. But I'm seeing the lay of the land right now, and I'm observing, because we all know that I want to have a family and have kids, and that's fine. But why am I going to pick a 39-year-old girl when I can pick a 29-year-old so girl? So, quick ultimatum. Yeah. Only fans, girl, beautiful, young, ready to have kids versus boss babe. Same thing. Ooh. Beautiful, <laughs> young, ready to have kids. How old are they? Uh, they're both 24, 25. Her only fans is maybe like bathing suit photos. And the boss babe, she's making over $400,000 a year. Yeah, I'll take the boss babe. Relax. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Relax. I'm just asking. <laughs> like, that's an easy question right well, there. Well, but it's only... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a woman who's working and bringing income. The problem is, is when they work for so long Mm -hmm. and they're 35 at that point Mm -hmm. and they look back and they've got money saved up and they're like, why doesn't the man of my dreams want me? Because he wants that 25 year old girl. Mm -hmm. Because, listen, the fact that I have to like give a, hey, by the way, this might be a little controversial. It's crazy to me. Guys like young, hot women. Great. Understand that. They mm-hmm. like beauty. They like femininity. Sure. It's cool. Sure. Women like attractive, secure, established men. This isn't anything new. Yeah. But these days, people are like, how dare you say that men like beautiful women? How dare you say that women like established, successful men? Yeah, yeah no shit. Yeah. But okay. these days, people are like, that's crazy talk. It's the reality of things. Um, but that doesn't mean because you have preferences, you need to treat people horribly. Mm-hmm. Treat people right. Um, that's the caveat right there. Um, there's a lot of people in certain extreme camps that make that villainize the other side. That's not what we're trying to do here. It's right. you have your preferences. We have our preferences. You know, it's like uh, in a famous song, tell your friends to get with my friends. friends. Maybe we can, we can be, be friends. friends. Maybe we can do this thing every weekend. I don't know. We're not going to name that. That The person who said that shower name nameless because okay. uh, he's got some issues out there. Yikes. But at the end of the day, we're trying to bring people together. Uh, here's an article right here that sort of talks about why men need to focus on success, mm, please. chase success, please. not women, pursue success. It's because women hang out at the finish line to pick the winners. Mm. You know, Matt Sapala was on here. He's talking about, yeah. yo, that woman that stays by your side, that respects you, that sees you grind, that sees you doing your thing. Yo, you, that woman right there, few and far between. Right. Because that woman has to bet on a 26-year-old guy and say, this guy right here, mm-hmm. he's going to take me to the promised land. Mm-hmm. Can I get a hallelujah? Right. But what happens if he doesn't? That woman are out there will look at that and they'll talk about, you know, huh. What huh. happens if he doesn't? What's that out either? there? They talk about some of the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Mm-hmm. So women will basically, hey, oh, um, women will say, listen, why would I bet on a guy and make the wrong bet? The metaphor, I think Rich Cooper is the one who initially said this for a shout out to entrepreneurs and car, Rich Cooper. Women just hang out at the finish line and pick the pick the winners. Why would I bet on a long shot when I can bet on a guy who already won? That's why you always see guys who aren't exactly the most attractive, mm-hmm. sloppy, older, fatter, balder, whatever, but they got that dime piece on their arm because she's saying, listen, instinctually, I've been built to make sure that I have a protector, provider, and someone who's there for me, mm-hmm. being present for your woman. The protector, provider thing is evergreen. Um, these days with, you know, women and their own emotions, the, the being present for a woman is sort of a newer concept, but women hang out at the finish line and pick the winner. So what's my advice to men out there? You might not be where you're at, where you want to be the rest of your life. When I was 25, I was my brokest friend. No. I'm crashing on couches. When I was 35, I was a millionaire. In my early 40s, now I'm working with PBD on one of the biggest podcast networks and the biggest consulting companies in the world. Why? Because I played the long game. I wasn't like, oh, nobody likes me. I'm 25. Shut the fuck up, dude. Nobody cares. Yeah. Get to work. Grind. Work for a decade. Work on your money. Work on yourself. Work on your personality. And good things will happen. It's 
it's timeless that yeah. if you put in the work, good things will happen. So work your ass off, develop friends, develop skill set, develop a network of people around you that can empower you, drop the dead weight, mm -hmm. beat it, geek, you crypto dorks. And then rather than chasing women all around, what happens is when you win the race, there's going to be women at the end of the race saying, oh, I got water for you, baby. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're drinking from the fountain of youth, living your best life. So that's my advice for the men out there. Play the long game, and you're going to be just fine in the end. But do you feel it's bad if as a woman you want to um, like make money to get things for yourself, not only... Not like not always rely on your man. Yeah, of course. You should make money. Like mm -hmm. nobody wants like a just a deadbeat girl. That's sort of the the whole mm -hmm. um like a balance. Uh, the balance, but when you become so hyper focused on the money mm -hmm. and you go moving on. Now there's a difference between, "Yo, I'm making a half a million dollars a year" versus, "Yeah, I can make 50 at this job, but if I work my ass off, I can make 60." It's like, "All right, how much are you giving up in your personal life right. to For sacrifice because you're going to look back and uh you're because you're 25." Oh my God, no. And don't make me say my age here. Okay. You're in your <laughs> mid-20s. Um, more than that. I'm trying to throw you a bone here, girl. Anyway. <laughs> um, You don't want to look back and be 35, and now you're approaching men. Oh. Use your youth. Use your beauty. Let the men approach you. That's advice to the ladies. But gentlemen, this segment's for you because I care about you. Make that money. Make yourself. Make your wealth. Good things will happen. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one... Click right here to watch the full SawsCast, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.